No one likes being anxious, but it's a part of being alive. For some of us, unfortunately, anxiety seems to get triggered a lot more often. Personally, I don't carry around cans of sardines and I usually don't feel like cooking when I'm anxious, so here are some of my favorite and easiest snacks to eat when anxiety gets triggered. Before we start, I want to say this. Anxiety is a part of life. Having anxiety is not a weakness. There's nothing wrong with you. Feeling ashamed of having anxiety only makes things worse. If you are alive, then you will feel anxiety from time to time. Accepting anxiety as a part of life is actually a sign of strength and maturity in my opinion. All right, here are the chapters of this video so you know what's gonna happen. Number one, definition. Number two, the second brain. Number three, snacks. Number four, healthy foods. Number five, supplements. The dictionary's definition says it's a feeling of worry, nervousness, or unease about something with an uncertain outcome. What happens is your body and nervous system are perceiving that there is a threat, so your glands start releasing more cortisol and adrenaline. These hormones raise your blood pressure, cause breathing changes, make your heart beat faster, rush blood into your muscles. It's what's called the fight or flight response. I'm sure you've heard it before. The body sounds the alarm because it is trying to protect us from some danger it sensed way before we have any thoughts about it. And then the mind starts to come up with all kinds of meanings and interpretations. It tries to solve this problem of anxiety because this feeling is very uncomfortable and we want to get rid of it. We try to make the anxiety go away with our thoughts, which simply doesn't work. When you're feeling anxious, it can be helpful to choose snacks that can contain ingredients that have calming mood stabilizing properties. They will help you stabilize your hormones and turn off the fight or flight response. Chapter two, the gut is like a second brain. Maybe you've heard or read this phrase before, but the gut is like a second brain is often used to highlight the complex and dynamic connection between the digestive system, especially the gut and the central nervous system. This connection is known as the gut brain axis. Researchers are continually exploring this bi-directional communication network between the gut and the central nervous system, which influences various aspects of mental health. Signals from the gut can affect brain function, mood and behavior. Here's some ways in which a healthy digestive system can positively influence mental well-being. One, neurotransmitter production. The gut produces and releases a significant amount of neurotransmitters, including serotonin. Serotonin is often referred to as the feel-good neurotransmitter, and it plays a crucial role in mood regulation. A balanced and healthy gut can contribute to the production of neurotransmitters that positively influence mood and emotional well-being. This has led to the gut being sometimes called the second largest serotonin producing organ in the body. Number two, inflammation and immune system regulation. The gut is a major site of interaction between the immune system and the external environment. A healthy digestive system helps regulate inflammation and chronic inflammation has been associated with various mental health conditions. By promoting a balanced immune response, a healthy gut may contribute to better mental health. Three, vagus nerve communication. The vagus nerve, which connects the gut and the brain, plays a crucial role in the bi-directional communication between these two systems. A healthy digestive system can contribute to optimal vagus nerve function, influencing stress responses, emotional regulation, and overall mental well-being. Four, nutrient absorption. A well-functioning digestive system ensures the proper absorption of essential nutrients, including those that are important for brain health. Nutrients such as omega-3 fatty acids, vitamins and minerals play a role in cognitive function and mood regulation. Five, hormonal regulation. The gut produces hormones that influence appetite, metabolism and energy balance. Hormonal imbalances can contribute to mood swings, irritability and other emotional disturbances. A healthy digestive system helps maintain hormonal balance, supporting mental well-being. All right, finally, here are my favorite snacks to eat when I'm feeling anxious. I will start with the easiest ones in terms of snacks because you can always have them with you in your car or backpack. Because like I said, as healthy as fatty fish is, I don't think anyone carries a can of sardines with them just in case they get anxious. But thankfully there are many other options. First, we have nuts and seeds, especially walnuts. Walnuts contain antioxidants, including vitamin E and polyphenols, which help combat oxidative stress in the body. But most importantly for us, 
Walnuts are a great non-animal source of omega-3s. Omega-3 fatty acids are known for their heart-healthy benefits, including reducing inflammation and improving cholesterol levels, but they may also be associated with a lower risk of depression. Walnuts also contain a compound called tryptophan, an amino acid that is a precursor to serotonin. Now, serotonin is a neurotransmitter that plays a key role in regulating mood, sleep, and appetite. Increasing tryptophan intake may contribute to the synthesis of serotonin, which can positively impact mood. In addition, walnuts contain various B vitamins, including folate, vitamin B6, and niacin. These vitamins are also involved in the production of neurotransmitters such as serotonin and dopamine, which play crucial roles in mood regulation. And walnuts are a good source of magnesium, a mineral that is important for overall brain health. Magnesium has been linked to mood regulation and a deficiency in this mineral may contribute to symptoms of depression. So walnuts are really a powerhouse when it comes to regulating mood and calming anxiety. Almonds and pistachios are great as well. Pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds are an amazing snack because they are high protein, they are full of healthy fats, but mostly because they contain tryptophan, which, like we just said, is a precursor to serotonin. Additionally, the magnesium content in pumpkin seeds may contribute to relaxation and better sleep. Pumpkin seeds are also great for prostate health, so for you men out there, pumpkin seeds are excellent to add to your diet. Also for blood sugar regulation and immune support, since they contain a lot of zinc. So pumpkin seeds really are another powerhouse snack. Next, we have dark chocolate. Dark chocolate contains antioxidants and may have stress-reducing properties, but it's important to get it with at least 70% cocoa content. Personally, I like milk chocolate much better, but unfortunately, that won't do anything for you mentally. So, because dark chocolate not only contains a high amount of tryptophan, but it also contains compounds that may act as a prebiotic. Now, prebiotics are non-digestible substances that promote the growth of beneficial bacteria in the gut. Ideally, try to get dark chocolate without sugar and definitely without artificial sugar because they're really terrible for your gut. Also, it's best to not have dark chocolate at night as the cocoa could keep you from getting good sleep. So, so if you like doing stuff like this and have the energy to do it, you could make a trail mix with dark chocolate bits, walnuts, pumpkin seeds. You can also add some dried fruit to it get the stuff without sugar, and done. You have this awesome trail mix and you can carry a Ziploc bag in your purse or backpack all the time. It's a super easy but powerful way to regulate your cortisol levels and help you calm down. Next up, we have berries, especially blueberries, which are high in antioxidants that support brain health. Blueberries are a superfood with many benefits for the body, but they also contain compounds that may influence the levels of neurotransmitters in the brain, such as dopamine and serotonin. Like we already know, these neurotransmitters play key roles in mood regulation and their balance is crucial for mental well-being. Some research even suggests that the antioxidants in blueberries may have antidepressant-like effects. Bananas. Bananas regulate blood sugar levels, which affects mood contain tryptophan, which again, your body converts into serotonin, and they also contain lots of potassium, which helps regulate blood pressure, and your body needs potassium for healthy nerve functioning. Next up, we have celery. Celery contains a flavonoid called apigenin, which has been shown to lower cortisol, helping to turn off anxiety. Eating just a few stalks will reduce anxiety and nervous tension that is trapped in your muscles. The perfect snack would be to dip it in almond butter, which you know, makes an easy and instant mood changing snack. And it's pretty delicious. Or you can start adding celery to salads. Next up, we have yogurt, Greek yogurt, or even better, kefir. Now, I always thought it was pronounced kefir, but uh, I just learned it's kefir, which just makes me think of kefir Sutherland. So yeah, weird. I've been pronouncing it wrong for years, I guess. Anyway, kefir, is a great source of essential nutrients, including protein, calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, and B vitamins. Even more importantly, the probiotics in kefir can help maintain a healthy gut microbiota. The gut is a significant producer of serotonin and the presence of a balanced and diverse gut microbiota supported by probiotics in kefir may contribute to optimal serotonin production. And kefir, <laughs> you can get in the yogurt section of every grocery store. It's not expensive and very effective. So when I get anxious and I happen to be near a grocery store, I chug one of those kefir bottles and let it work its magic. Lemon balm tea. 
Now, I realize that tea technically is not a snack, but brewing a cup of tea is super easy, and this one is one of the most powerful remedies to reduce stress. It is rich in rosmarinic acid, which is a vital nutrient that boosts GABA, a neurotransmitter in the brain. When you boost GABA in the brain, it helps inhibit certain nerves in order to bring your body out of the fight or flight mode. It's also great for helping you get a good night's sleep, but uh, it's fine to drink during the day and won't make you sleepy. Other teas that might be beneficial for easing anxiety are passion fruit tea, chamomile, or peppermint tea. Also, green tea is very healthy because of its high levels of L-theanine. L-theanine is an amino acid that is known for its ability to induce a sense of relaxation without causing drowsiness. And if you don't like the taste of green tea, you could always get a green tea extract supplement. Please let me know in the comments what your favorite things to eat and drink are when you're trying to calm down. I'm always curious to learn new tools. Chapter four, foods to incorporate into your diet. All right, so now let's talk about some foods you can try to generally include in your diet. They're not as easy to have the snacks when you're out and about or when you need something fast, so I wanted to list them separately. Number one, fatty fish. Salmon, mackerel, sardines, and other fatty fish are rich in omega-3 fatty acids which have been linked to improved mood and reduced anxiety. Avocados, they're a good source of healthy fats and contain B vitamins, which play a role in neurotransmitter production. Turkey and chicken, these lean proteins contain the amino acid tryptophan, which we already know is a precursor to serotonin. Fermented foods, this is really big, like sauerkraut, kimchi, or other pickled vegetables, kefir, kombucha, miso, to name a few. And like we just talked about with kefir, fermented foods are linked to potential psychological health benefits due to their influence on the gut-brain axis. You should try to have fermented foods a couple times a week. Mushrooms. Mushrooms help with blood sugar and insulin regulation. They also act as prebiotics, which are very beneficial for the gut. Beans. Beans are full of fiber and protein. The B vitamins in beans also help increase neurotransmitter levels, which regulates mood. Nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast is a versatile and flavorful food product that has gained popularity recently, especially among those who follow a plant-based diet. It's often used as a cheese substitute by vegans due to its savory taste. I add it to salads, soups, and vegetables. I like the taste, one or two tablespoons. It's also a great way to use less salt, and it's just so good for you. Here are some potential benefits of eating nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast is a complete protein, meaning it contains all nine essential amino acids that the body cannot produce on its own. This makes it a valuable protein source, especially for individuals following vegetarian or vegan diets. B vitamins are essential for energy production, nerve function, and the metabolism of carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. Nutritional yeast, particularly the fortified varieties, can contribute significantly to B vitamin intake. The zinc content in nutritional yeast can contribute to a healthy immune system. So nutritional yeast really is worth checking out. Supplements. Most people on the planet are deficient in two things, magnesium and vitamin D. Let's start with magnesium. Magnesium is easier to get from food. I've mentioned some food sources such as nuts and seeds, whole grains, beans, dark chocolate, bananas, also leafy greens like spinach. But still many of us are deficient in magnesium. Signs of a deficiency are muscle cramps, having an annoying eye twitch, trouble falling asleep. Since magnesium also inhibits notable calming effects on the nervous system, which makes it very valuable for stress management and sleep. I think supplementing with magnesium makes sense for most people. There are a few types of magnesium available, but for stress management and mood regulation and sleep, magnesium citrate and magnesium glycinate are best. The recommended dosage for adults is between 300 and 500 milligrams daily. But before starting any new supplement routine, make sure to discuss this with your doctor and possibly get some blood work done to see if you are deficient, especially your vitamin D levels. So speaking of vitamin D, vitamin D is a lot trickier. Getting sunlight exposure is the best way to get it. But for some of us, this is hard, especially in the winter. I'm in Berlin and there's no sun for three months. So supplementing makes a lot of sense. But again, you always want to consult with your doctor before starting any new supplements, especially with vitamin D because there's a possibility of it reaching toxic levels in your system. But a vitamin D deficiency has been linked to higher levels of anxiety. Since so few plant foods contain vitamin D, taking a vitamin D supplement, spending time in the sun, and eating fatty fish like salmon and mackerel can increase vitamin D levels. Vitamin D is best taken as vitamin D3, and many experts uh, recommend taking it with vitamin K2. 
There are many supplements out there which combine the two, which is very useful. You don't have to get two separate supplements. It's also great to combine vitamin D with magnesium. So I take these two supplements together with dinner since magnesium can make you a bit sleepy. B vitamins. All B vitamins play a beneficial role in reducing anxiety and improving your mood. However, when it comes to vitamins for anxiety, vitamin B12 is especially powerful. There's a strong correlation between low levels of B12 and increased rates of anxiety and depression. B12 also offers additional brain care benefits such as increasing your ability to focus and helping you feel energized. Since vitamin B12 is very hard to get from non-animal sources, except nutritional yeast, which we just talked about, vegetarians and vegans should definitely consider supplementing. I take a B vitamin complex since I don't like eating a ton of meat and dairy. I'm not vegetarian, but yeah, I just don't. Besides chicken and turkey, foods that are rich in B vitamins are eggs, salmon, tuna, lentils, chickpeas, avocados, and bananas. But just to be safe, I take a supplement. I don't take a ton of supplements, but this one I believe is important. Next, we have vitamin C. You might think of vitamin C as an immune booster, but it's also excellent for your brain and one of the best vitamins for stress and anxiety. And vitamin C supplements are super affordable, and especially in the winter, you could maybe get a supplement with zinc in it. It's a great booster for your immune system. The last supplement I wanna talk about are omega-3s. Omega-3s come in several forms, but the most important are DHA and EPA. DHA in particular may play a role in protecting your mental health and getting enough has been linked with a reduced risk of depression. One reason for this might be that DHA is vital for the production of serotonin, and we know how important serotonin is for regulating mood. However, a lot of people don't consume any oily fish at all, so a supplement makes a lot of sense. If you are vegan, it is possible to get omega-3 supplements made from algae, so you do not have to take fish oil. So that's it. I made a separate video about my favorite tools to ease anxiety and to change your body's state. If you're interested, check out that video here. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't yet, please support my channel by subscribing. It makes a big difference. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions about anything that I talked about in this video, or if you have ideas for future videos. Take care.